Okay, um, this, uh, tutorial right here is going to, um, I'm going to draw out a menu and create scenes and script it to go to those scenes when you click the buttons. So, um, <clears throat> I want to breeze through this one pretty quick, but, um, I'm still going to cover all the material, so, uh, I'm going to use, uh, you can use anything for the buttons, I'm just going to use square tool and, uh, give the corn, uh, crank the corner radius a little bit. I'm going to put it at 5. Um, doesn't really do anything to your, uh, it just makes the square edges rounded. So, um, with this, um, I'm just going to keep it all proportional and, uh, just copy and paste this square and three times because I'm just gonna I'm gonna create three buttons which are the the play movie button the scene select button and the uh, credits button um, let's see here I'm just, you just gotta give your uh, your buttons need to have labels but I think you know that alright so um first start just make sure your text is a different color than the uh, button background. Um, I'm not really going to take time to to align these just because uh, that's something you can do. I mean, it's pretty easy. And uh, making sure that, that fits. Alright, now credits. Alright, there's our three buttons. Now you gotta convert them to buttons themselves, because without that they're not gonna be clickable. So you're gonna go, you're gonna highlight the play button and press modify, convert to symbol, or F8. Um, now you're gonna check off your, bu your button bullet, and uh, I'm just gonna name it, well, PLY underscore BTN. And you're just going to do that with all of them. Just make them all into buttons. Um, then you're going to be able to script them. Which is pretty simple. It's nothing, nothing too hard. Now what you're going to do is, uh, well, like, you want to name this something just to make it more simple. This is your scene menu. You just double click on it to change the name of it. Then you're going to insert two more scenes, or actually three more. You're going to insert one for the movie, um, one for the scene select, and one for the credits. So just name these really quick. And I'm just going to pause it real quick and just put stuff on the, on the things so that when I script them, you're able to see what I did. Okay, I have... Uh, finished putting stuff on all my scenes and I have added another layer a blank layer to every scene um just by clicking this guy over here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put stop actions on all the scenes so it doesn't really breeze right through them it's gonna go to the next scene if you don't so you gotta open up your actions panel clicking this and uh, the stop action is just stop and open and close the uh, parentheses and a semicolon. That stops the uh, stops it from playing right there. He's just gonna add that to all three, or well, four if you include the menu. And uh, <coughs> that's gonna stop them all when you go to them. So. now that that's done you can actually script your buttons now now the play button since the play button's gonna play your movie itself you're gonna type in um, on release in parentheses then put one of these press enter and type uh, go to and well it's gonna be it's going to be play movie when it's an actual movie, but I'm going to type in stop just because, um, just because I don't have a real movie there. It's just a frame. So make sure you type play when you do a real movie. And then, uh, you're going to put, uh, opened parenthesis and put a quote 
and type in uh, the scene name, which is movie. And since it's a scene, you have to put comma and a space and put one so that it goes to the movie scene frame one. Then put in a semicolon and uh, well, the other one of those guys. And that's basically uh, what you're going to do with all of them, except you're going to substitute this with the scene name. So I'm just going to go through that real quick. And Okay, so I um, added the scripts to all of my buttons now. And as you'll see, I on every button, I just took the, uh, the scene name and stuck it in there. So that basically all it says is when you click on it and release the click on that button, it's going to go to the scene select scene and stop on frame one. Okay, um, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, all my scenes just have uh, the scene name in it, so that when you release the button, it goes to that scene, stops on frame one. Now, um, what else you're going to want to do? Um, oh, well, I was playing around with the filters. Sorry about that. While I was away. Um, well, basically, it all fits together now. I think you're basically done here, so that when you preview your movie, it stops on this, and then when you press play play movie is here and uh well you're gonna have to create a back button which is just a button on every scene that says uh that says um when you uh you're just gonna create a button that says back on it and uh the code's gonna be like on release go to and stop menu one that's it so that's the end of this tutorial